this big old nice fillet. Alright YouTubers, back down here on Old Mussy Creek, right there's Chattahoochee River. I'm going to do a little overnighter, testing out some new gear. Got my Coleman, it's an Instadome 5, it's a 5 man tent. It's not brand new, but it's new to me. <laughs> Found it at a thrift store. I just about stand up in there. But got this new tarp right here. It is a G Camp tarp, hammock tarp, really. But I bought it just for this tent right here. It is 3 meter by 4.5 meter. I wish they put this in USA standards. <laughs> but it's got 19 attachment points on it. Covers this tent real good. I sat here for about an hour and a half in the rain a while ago. I went ahead and got it set up. I didn't want to get my camera out in the rain. so And of course I got the old Explorer over there. This thing has tie, tie out points all around it. I might have to do a little adjusting here and there before it's all over with. But looks good. It is not wet in there at all. But got it all covered up. Of course, the rain is gone now. But that's the inside of it. Looks real good. I'll get my mattress out here in a little while my sleeping bags got two good coleman sleeping bags it's gonna get about 37 tonight probably get a little cool but i did bring my hammock and under quilt and all that but i tried that out last time i was gonna try this out this time but all right i got it in the truck if i need it <laughs> But all right, just gonna get down here and try to catch some fish. Creek's looking good, and that is slick as it can be right there. But I'm gonna try to get right there and fish a little bit. All right. I'll take them all day too. All right, y'all. I done got me five nice ones. Got two good each size. That one I'm sure gonna keep. And a couple of little cut baits. And the other two if I don't catch no catfish tonight. <laughs> I'll keep that big one for sure. He's good hand size. I'm gonna use these others for cut bait. keeps messing with this thing. <sighs> Thanks to the old Bilgar. Yeah, thank you to the old Bilgar. Try him again. Got it that time. Yes, 
we'll see. Something different they got. Oh. He got a limb too. <laughs> That is a catfish. He's dragging a whole limb up with him. Oh man. I can't get down here on this bottom because it's slickered and snot on a shirt sleeve. I just hope I can pull him up. He's a big one. <laughs> he's a big one. He looks like he's foul hooked. See if you can see how I had him hooked. I barely had that mug. <laughs> Dang. All right, I'm trying to get this scale on him. Whew. I just turned this camera off. Or my phone off. Oh, boy. Let's see what we got. Seven point. All right, be still, fella. Seven point five, six, nine, eight. About seven and a half pounds. Yep, seven point five, five. It's a pretty one, y'all. Yes, sir. I'm standing close to this camera because I step back any further, I'll be in the creek. But there you go. Seven and a half pound blue cat. Big old belly. We'll see what's in that belly. <laughs> Liking that. Got dinner tomorrow. <laughs> I just got off the phone showing this thing down here. And I moved it up the creek. Keep them gator guards or bill guards from messing with it. So, caught this buggy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Man, it's a nice one. All right. All right, I got him up under the light now. Pretty little thing. That joker's fat. <laughs> All right. Let's put him in the cooler. I'll clean that in the morning. <laughs> All right. I got dinner tomorrow. All right, y'all. <laughs> that was good. It wasn't 10 minutes after I put that bait up the creek. And got that one. So I done put him in the cooler, put that big brim in the cooler, threw all the rest of them back in the creek. I'm done fishing. <laughs> it is 10 minutes till 8. So I stoked the fire back up. I'm going to sit here and listen to the radio. I might cook some country style ribs if I get me a good bed of coals. This ain't the best wood in the world, but it's burning pretty good. But I'm good. I got what I came after. We're going to eat good tomorrow. All right. I'll come back on if anything exciting happens. That wind's still kicking a little bit. Look at that fire. <laughs> All right. Well, good morning. 
<laughs> it's kind of a gloomy morning this morning. It got down to about 36, 37 degrees last night, which I was nice and snug in my, I had two sleeping bags. <laughs> But it's a little cool, the wind's trying to kick in. I, I don't mind the cold so much, just the wind. But, getting this coffee on, maybe that'll warm me up a little bit. We'll get out here and start putting some of this stuff away. Clean that fish. Cook it up before I go. Maybe the wind will not be too bad today. It's, the sun's supposed to come out, so. We'll just wait on this coffee right quick. We'll get with y'all later. Alright, talking about using new gear. Of course, that's my old Zebco 808. That's what I caught that 7.5 pounder last night on. But I bought me a couple of new rods. Berkeley, big game. Seven foot, yeah, seven foot, medium heavy line, and it did real good last night. I got me some white ones to try to show up on camera better. It's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be, maybe a little bit of overkill, but yeah, it's what I needed. I got two of them. I got my Shakespeare on the other one. I didn't figure I'd use it last night, so I left it in the truck. I'm fixing to start packing some of this stuff up. Get on out of here. All right. Uh, all right. I got that thing cleaned out. I wasn't going to show that on. But that's a big old nice fillet. And yes, I do keep that backbone. That's my favorite part. <laughs> to um, but I want to show y'all why that thing was so fat. Look at these crawdads. Three nice big crawdads. Look at the pictures on that mug. <laughs> that joker right there just about eat him. But look at all these. All these muscles. <laughs> that thing had a belly full. Alright, I done showed y'all a lot of times how I do this. I like them backbones in mine. I got that little brim. I did save a little bit of the fillets and the belly fat. But I saved the rest of it for Miss Cindy. Take her a good mess of catfish. But I'm going to eat this right here. And get on up out of here. It's already 3.30. So. But I've showed y'all how I've done this a lot of times. Alright. I'm going to fry this up and get out of here, y'all. Well, we finally got it frying up. I'm going to show y'all the finished product I usually do. But I'm fixing up. I got just about everything packed up in the truck. But... I think we get on up out of here when I get this done. Eat a little bit of it. Take some home. Take some to Miss Cindy. But y'all, just get outside and go do something. Even if you're hurting, I got to go to the chiropractor in the morning. So it's been a slow day <laughs> getting out of here. But all right. Y'all take it easy. Love y'all. Do all those good things. Like and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. All right, y'all. Man, <laughs> I know I've showed you that a hundred times, and I'll say it again. You can't get no better than that. Sitting right here on the creek bank. Man, got some brim this time, and I like to cook those backbone parts. That's my favorite part. And all this right here, whoo. Mm. Believe me, I done ate some. Look at that. Waiting on this grease to cool off. Put it back in the jug. Get ready and get on out of here.
That's why I do this. That right there. Better than catching them just about. <laughs> but there's a little party going on over here at this pavilion, so it's kind of loud. But I'm going to get on out of here. <laughs> y'all enjoy, I hope. Get out and go do something. Thank y'all.